Okay, hello dear friends. Let's do one. So we will do a makeup. Let me try if I can make into a philosophical makeup so that I will not waste too much of your time. And uh, <clears throat> so this one we will talk about. Uh, the miscellaneous things such as why people watch my video So, take a good look at me before the makeup. This is me without anything and with my gray hair coming up. So, I will ask you about one question. Do I go gray, salt and pepper? It comes from one day I saw, I, I, I am just afraid of showing my gray hair so I always uh, uh, dye my hair and um, and people say it's not good for health and uh, it will cause cancer or anything and uh, I don't think it's a big problem for that point you anyway you will die and uh, and it just uh, sooner or later. It's, when it is your number, it is your number. Don't be afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it. It's, it is your turn and heaven decide it's your turn. You got to go, you go. And, um, and um, so I think about this gray hair thing start from uh, From one day, this time in Paris, I was traveling and uh, we went to the third arrondissement, Le Marais, and uh, there are these Jewish shops and things, and nothing to do with uh, nationality, with uh, race. It's uh, at that place I saw one lady passing by with her partner or husband or friend with a gentleman, a lady, gray hair, all gray hairs, 
short gray hair like me and it's shorter than, than mine. It's really sharp image and she has just the perfect makeup, not extreme makeup. It's the natural self-confidence and beauty in herself and uh, red lipstick. It was so pretty and she was tiny, petite and, um, and uh, big eyes and uh, sharp and um, small, small in size, slim and wear quite fashionable clothes. It's just a very good taste clothes. It's, um, it's not a new trend, it's nothing, it's just a bien habillé, bien habillé. It's, it, she walks quite uh, fast and holding hand with the husband, with the, the partner. It was just so sharp in it. I immediate, immediately fell in love with that gray hair and red lipstick. So I want to go that way. So this is why I I am thinking of going gray, but I, I really do not have that courage to totally show the gray hair. Maybe we can have a discussion about it. Let me know your input. And if you go gray, you have to, you do not, um, you cannot just let it gray and, uh, and, um, and no makeup and looks lazy and things. You really have to, if you want to go gray, it has, it says a very higher uh, requirement on you so that you can keep the same useness, you can keep the same uh, use, you can keep the same spirit or even better spirit. You can go gray with red lipstick, with sharp image, it will definitely better than black hair. And I just do not have that courage to go gray just yet. Maybe in a couple of years, when I am totally ready for it, I don't think I am ready for going gray. Actually, when you go gray, you totally go gray. It's, uh, it's not difficult. It's just this transition period. You have black hair in the in the all over your head, and the, the root of it is gray hair. It's quite not. Not uh, not good. Okay, that's so much about the first topic about gray hair. Now the second topic is about, um, I got one comment and one friend said, why do people watch your video? I kind of understand people watch you draw, but I just can, but why do people watch you uh, walking around? your backyard with a blue dress or something, it's pointless. And uh, the other video people commenting about the makeup. I ask why people watch me to do makeup because I do not have skill, I do not have equipment, but still people watch 
maybe just because it's a, some people say it's because it's a relaxing. So the word is big. This is a very big word. Everybody has its own preference and we just need to accept that we are all different and we have all different interests and different things attract us. Some watch video because it's educational. They can learn how to do makeup, how to learn a new trick. Some people just need relax or rewind by seeing people naturally, carelessly, or carefully, or just in the natural state of doing something, living a life. I always think real life is more fascinating, is the real fascination for, for people. It's more fascinating than, than pretended. Well, sometimes theater. This is a little bit not right, red enough. This should be good for young people or when you have sharp closing something. And if you go gray, this might be a little bit too, too dull, not bright enough. So you might want to uh, add some sharper color if you plan to go gray. So there are so many things we do not understand and uh, I do not try to understand because uh, you never understand another people's heart. One thing you can understand is something you passionately love. There must be someone that passionately hate about it. And there is no right or wrong. It's only a personal preference. And uh, that person who passionately hate what you passionately love about might be your, your good friend, might be just another good, kind human being, but have a very different interest than you. Anything you passionately hate about, there must be someone passionately love about. So, so something, just accept it. And, um, and you may try to understand it or you may try not to understand it. And it's your personal preference. If you want to be a philosopher, try to understand other people. If you just want to live an easy life, try just to live a life as you like, do not be bothered by other things and other people. And uh, gosh, the boys. And another thing I want to say, I want to chat with you, I forgot why people watch your video. Oh yes, another friend said, um, <clears throat> can you do a video about uh, uh, keep so thin? I'm not keeping so thin to begin with. I am, um, after traveling, I lose some weight and uh, I have been back almost two weeks, one week, yeah. I have been back from traveling one week. I think I gained two pounds or something, rather uh, 10 pounds or something. I feel I gained so much. And uh, the way we lose weight, I think, is to have, uh, to first thing to have a goal. And, uh, well, it's all different. For example, when I travel, 
when I travel, I lose weight because naturally you do not eat uh, as comfortable as what you eat at home, and you will not have the the same amount of uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything, uh, the same comfort, and your body is not uh, not digesting, functioning as much as you are at home. Another thing, when you go outside, there is a time you eat and there is a time you do not eat. And uh, at home, you can so easily get access to refrigerator and to get tea, get to milk, get to coffee, get to anything that uh, that can can spoil your your <coughs> regime, your regime, your your diet, your your system, and it's just too easy, and you cannot control it, and it's too difficult to control. And uh, why do we control? How about if we die tomorrow and we will die of uh, a hunger, we will die of, uh, of regret that I didn't drink that cup of coffee or I didn't eat that piece of meat or I didn't eat something. You do not want to, <laughs> want to suffer yourself for that, right? So it's very hard to put to put uh, a very strict discipline on yourself and uh, and uh, so by traveling by do something different it um, it diverts your interest and uh, it guides your interest to a new direction a different direction and uh, distract you from the interest of eating so i think that is uh, one of the things. As for exercise, I do not do exercise uh, particularly and when I am at home I can gain weight and, um, and uh, I do not go to gym, I do not have a gym card and uh, just a daily exercise I know this is uh, uh, I need to improve myself so so anyway, there is nothing to be brag about, but when I travel, I walk a lot. I think uh, we walk every day, six hours, seven hours. If you travel, you know every day you walk, right? You go to a place, you drive to a place, and then you start to walk, to walk, walk, um, one, two, three, four, seven hours, eight hours. I think usually we wake up at uh, wake up and get out of the hotel around 10, 11, and then the whole day is uh, is walking, and uh, we drive two or three hours during the in the middle and finish at uh, 10, 11, 12, or something, and all the rest is walking. So. <clears throat> have a lot of exercise. So one thing I want to do is to do more uh, camping, traveling, and uh, go to different places, and uh, go to museum. If, if local area, go shopping, museum, window shopping, all this can, can, uh, can give you exercise and uh, let you move around your body. And uh, and uh, it's um, it's important to have a goal. And another thing is not to think about uh, um, not to think about it too much. Once you have a goal, your goal is to live a health, healthy lifestyle. And uh, but do not watch on each little meal you eat. And, uh, well, of course you watch, but do not make a big deal out of it. If, uh, if this time you ate more than what you should, instead of regretting, instead of hating yourself, and uh, so hate, hate that you you cannot control yourself, you cannot uh, have a discipline of yourself and just hate yourself. It 
does not help to hate and um, and uh, just think okay I ate more next meal I eat less and do not make a big deal out of it the more you make a big deal out of it the more you will feel less happy and and by just ignoring those little uh, misdeeds and uh, those little mistakes you make give yourself another chance next time eat less or do some exercise and uh, and do not focus too much on it when we when we think too much about eating and not eating our brain totally function in that direction it doesn't help you and you can think about other things painting drawing shopping we all know that when you shop you you when you do other things you are so concentrated you are so focused you forget about uh, about eating and uh, forget one or two times about eating will help you a lot actually and each person has a different lifestyle some people do not eat breakfast some people do not eat lunch and some people uh, eat big uh, dinner it's her lifestyle his lifestyle once your body knows and i do not listen to what other people tell me what to do and uh, for example eating breakfast lunch I have my way of eating and uh, it is not the right way but for me it was not the wrong way it is not the wrong way it is my way so find yourself do not listen to others do not because your body listens to your health listens to your body your body listens to to your own desire to your own need maybe you need a big breakfast maybe you do not need breakfast and um, and find your own things I personally uh, better not tell you because it's so raw in normal standard yeah I better not to tell you it is very wrong every right thing I do not do every wrong thing I do yeah that's my way and um, I survived yeah unfortunately fortunately I survived like this so find what is the the right for you and if there is a time you you crave or something go for it and uh, and then you are ready for the consequence with it and uh, and uh, control yourself for in the future anyway this must be so 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 useless what I have told you I hope uh, yeah it's pointless Anyway, um, this is as much as I can come out from your questions. I hope you have a, a happy and healthy life. And uh, being happy is one of... And also people ask me why I'm happy. When you have a, a happy family, uh, a happy relationship and uh, not starving uh, living condition you usually and also a healthy heart a happy heart and um, and do not think too much it doesn't help to think too much there are things we can do there are things we cannot do and uh, there are people in starvation and there are there are terrible things happen in this world and by by being sad and being just uh, torture yourself with those terrible feelings 
it does not change the world it does not make the world a better place what you can contribute to this world is to be happy and uh, as much as you can you help others whether it's a donation or whether it's a it's whichever way you can think about an, a, a, a good way. But if you cannot help, if you cannot decide, let grandmother to decide. It's grandmother to decide. Let the big important people to decide. You make sure you live your life to the fullest, to enjoy it, to, to be happy. It is the best contribution you can do to this world. Okay, thank you very much. I'm pretty sure you are falling asleep already. I will not make a big noise.